What's up, everybody? Welcome to Know Your Heritage. I'm your man, DJ Ofski, sending a special shout out to the, my brothers of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. But right now, I have Tanae and Jasma from the Windy City All Star Cheerleaders helping me introduce today's competing teams in our semifinal game, starting with the Mustangs of Morgan Park. All right. Let's meet Brandon. Brandon is a senior. He wants to major in communications and hopes to be a sports columnist one day. Say hello to the lovely Keisha. She is a senior. She loves gospel music and hopes to become a lawyer. Now let's meet Amanda. Amanda is also a senior and her favorite subject is pre-calculus and she plans to study business in college. And last but certainly not least, say hello to the lovely Lauren. She's also a senior and hopes to own a literary magazine one day. Please show your love for the Mustangs of Morgan Park High School. And now let's welcome the Lions of Lincoln Park High School. Say hello to Big Ryan. Ryan is a junior. He hopes to attend Harvard and study law. Next up, say hello to Brittany. Brittany is also a junior, and she wants to become either a health inspector or do something involving medicine. I'm sure you will, Brittany. Now say hello to the lovely Thelma. Thelma is a sophomore, and she hopes to attend Stanford or NYU and study law. And last but certainly not least, that infectious smile, say hello to Marshana. She's a sophomore as well. She loves playing soccer, and she hopes to become a politician. Please give it up for the Lions of Lincoln Park. That's right, that's right. And now it's time to introduce the host of Know Your Heritage. He's been putting it down for weeks now. He's my man. You've seen him in multiple projects in Hollywood, ranging from Remember the Titans to The West Wing, Monk. Please say, show your love for Mr. Greg Allen Williams. Hello, everybody. Thank you for that warm welcome. I'm ready to have a good time today here at the Harold Washington Cultural Center, located in historic Bronzeville. But before we kick things off, let me introduce you to one of my favorite people, Chicago's very own DJ Opsky. Mr. Opsky. What's up? Yo, what you like? Oh, Greg, we've got a full house, and this is a heated competition. I mean, this is where it all takes place. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to the game. You betcha. Our first semi-final round. Uh, moving into the multiple choice round, young people, where you have three seconds to buzz in should your team answer incorrectly. The opposing team may buzz in and answer immediately. Remember, I must recognize you by name before you respond, and giving only the letter is unacceptable. Are you ready, Lions? Are you ready, Mustang? Here we go. Your first category, literature, for 10 points. Hispanic-American author Lourdes Casal is a writer who is also famous for her studies of what? Amanda. D, black Cubans. That is correct. D, black Cubans. Literature for 10 points. Hispanic-American writer Lorna D. Cervantes' work, The Crow, has a theme of finding a link in nature to counter what? Amanda. B, urban alienation. That is correct. B, urban alienation. Politics, economics, business, law for 20 points. The Kazmir Pulaski National Monument is located in what city? Noma. B, Savannah. That is correct. B, Savannah. Literature for 20 points. Writer Charles Waddell Chestnut is best known for which of his writings? Amanda. A, Conjure Woman. That is correct. A, Conjure Woman. Literature for 30 points. Chinese-American Louis Chu was a writer. What other work did he do? Amanda. A, Disc Jockey. That is correct. A, Disc Jockey. Literature for 30 points. In his writings, Frank Chen has tried to distinguish between what two qualities in Chinese-American literature? Brittany. B, fake and authentic? That is correct. B, fake and authentic. Literature for 40 points. Asian-American author Louis Chu graduated from New York University with a degree in English and a minor in what field? Thelma. B, sociology. That is correct. B, sociology. Literature for 40 points. A poem by Hispanic-American writer Martin Espada defended what former Black Panther on death row for killing a Philadelphia police officer? Amanda. C. Huey Newton. That is incorrect, Lions. Brittany. A. Mumia Abu-Jamal. 
That is correct. A. Mumia Abdul Jamal. Question number nine. Category performing arts for 50 points. Although there is a music festival in San Juan, Puerto Rico, named for Hispanic American cellist conductor Pablo Casals, he was actually born in what country? Brittany. B. Spain. That is correct. B. Spain. Category education for 50 points. Final question in this multiple choice round. What Native American educator wrote Oklahoma's Poor Rich Indians, an orgy of graft exploitation of the five civilized tribes legalized robbery? Keisha. B. Linda Hogan. That is incorrect. Lincoln Park. Brittany. B. Gertrude Simmons Bonin. Are you sure? Yes. That is correct. Gertrude Simmons Bonin. Wow, what a round. Two of our top teams, how did they do? We'll find out in just a few moments after the judges tally the scores. What do you think, DJ Obstie? Greg, I think you know what I think. I think we've got an awesome game, and we're going to check the scores when we get back. And we're going to kick off the huddle up round. This is where teams can make up points, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after these messages. Know Your Heritage is being brought to you by Jewel, helping make your life easier. Walgreens. Log on to Walgreens.com, the website you'd expect from the pharmacy you can trust. ComEd, an excellent company, being part of your community. That's our promise. That's our way. The Black McDonald's Operators Association, continually empowering minds, building leaders. And the Chicago Public Schools, something to be proud of.